How's it going everyone, Space Life here. In today's episode I took Space Life Junior down to the local lake to feed the geese and ducks. We're feeding them sunflower hearts today which are a lot healthier than bread, but if you've only got bread that's still better than nothing. These geese had a great morning, they must have been so well fed after this because we gave them the whole bag. And Space Life Junior just didn't want to put down the bag once he started throwing the food. That was it. I could not take that bag off of him. We found these wild berries, which are edible actually. But then we stumbled across these incredible horse mushrooms. And I haven't eaten horse mushrooms since I was a little kid, so I was really looking forward to trying these. And I had to take both, obviously. But yeah, they are in perfect condition. So it's time to get these home and get cooking. It's been a long time since I've tried horse mushrooms. I think I was actually probably about eight years old with my dad on a foraging trip. The fungus fora, they called it. But you can see these are really incredible. Now you always have to check in the stem for any little maggoty things. And this one did actually have quite a few maggots just in the stem. So I cut a little bit off and luckily they didn't go too far up into the mushroom. And I have to say there is one dodgy lookalike mushroom of this one and some of you might know it as the yellow stainer. But this mushroom is quite easy to tell. All you have to do is cut a little bit off, put it in the microwave or pour some boiling water over it. And if it goes a really bright yellow, almost turmeric coloured, then you should worry. But also, I noticed with horse mushrooms they actually smell of tasty edible mushrooms, almost like ones you'd buy in the shops, whereas the yellow stainers have a really chemical smell to them and they just wouldn't smell very edible. So first you want to add some butter into your pan and I'm just going to really simply cook these mushrooms down with a little bit of butter, maybe some salt and pepper, but I wanted to keep it really simple because it's been so long since I've tried this mushroom I really wanted to savour all of the flavour and I didn't want to breadcrumb it or anything to take away some of that tasty mushroom flavour so I'm going to keep this one simple. So first I'm going to chop up the potatoes into small pieces, these are going to be our mashed potato and it will save you a lot of money on gas cutting them up nice and small. And then we just add some boiling water to this to get the job done really quick and then we'll move on to the greens. So we found these Brussels sprouts, it's that time of year and these are a favourite of mine. I know a lot of people don't like them but I absolutely love Brussels sprouts. So then we're going to make some tasty gravy. I added some red onions in the pan, a little bit of white wine, I'm just going to cook this down, let it reduce, and then we can add our gravy powder and our, a little bit of stock I like to add as well. It all adds loads of flavour, and then we can just cook this down for a while. So whilst it's all cooking away, it's time to cook some chestnuts, because I thought this would be a nice extra. We actually found these chestnuts whilst foraging as well, which is always nice, adding all these different forage ingredients together. So I always add a bit of salt and pepper to my mashed potato, a little bit of oat milk because we like to keep it vegan. But here you go, here is the finished product. This was a really nice tasty hearty meal and it really wouldn't have cost much either. So if you like this video please make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!